What's up, world? Today, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make an IG promo video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below. First thing you want to do is, you know, make a new project. If you haven't already. Then the first thing you want to do is um, import your footage. one of my recent videos and then you want to make a new sequence file new sequence the easiest thing the easiest way I found out to do it is go to digital SLR down to 720 and then click on the one that's 24 frames per second you can name it whatever then after you make the new sequence you want to go up to sequence and then go to sequence settings and then you want to change the uh, frame size to 640 by 640. I always unclick this right here. And then um, you want to drag your footage over. Keep existing settings. As you can see, the footage is too big for the screen. So right click and go to scale the frame size. Okay, because I like to um, just duplicate it, right click on that, unlink, that way when you're scrubbing through the footage you don't really have any sound. <clears throat> then I like to just let the footage play and then I like to pick out the best frame that I will pick out the frame that I would like to make um, the top image. And then one for the bottom image. So you know I go through it. Just make it quick. Let's say I want to use that one. Hit C, cut it, zoom in, go over a frame, cut that, drag it up, right click on it, go to speed duration. I would just drag it out to like 0 0.1. You know, I drag that over here. Then um, let's go through find another one. Let's say I want to use that one. Go frame over. Cut it. Drag it up, do the same thing, speed duration. Drag it out to about 0 0.1. Zoom out. I'll drag it over here. You know, most of these clips are um like 30 seconds. So you can come in and you can go to exactly the 30 seconds. And you can make a at a marker that way when you export it it won't go longer than 30 seconds and what I like to do for the actual footage is um I like to start it wherever like the hook starts or if the verse comes in first I like to start it at that point so just gonna see where it starts right there with a the beat drop so I'm gonna cut that cut everything in front of it Bring it to the front. Okay. I've been rapping since the young and it's really a hobby. Okay, we got that. Bring these two back in. I'll grab the top one. Got a fetch control position. Pull it to the top right here. Just whatever you want showing on that top image. You know, I drag that to the top. Then I go to effects. Go to crop. Drag crop over. Then from the bottom, I just um, drag it up. I see about right there. And then for the bottom image, I do the same thing. Go to effects control, position, bring it down a little bit. Let's say I wanted that. Get the crop. Drag it over. See, this time I'm going to go from the top. So 
drag that top down a little bit. Okay, let's see, they're not exactly, so I'm going to drag the clip down a little bit more. Okay, bam. It looks like it's, it's, it's good proportion, top and bottom. So, go up here to 30 seconds where you made your marker. Cut that. You can just delete the rest of it. So. I've been rapping since a young it's really a hobby. Get on the beat and get the fooling like Whitney and Bobby. Bobby. As you can see, it's really easy. You know what I'm saying? And just to go further with it, um, to put the words on it, let's go to File, New, Legacy Title. Uh, let's put the artist name. Change the font to whatever, whatever you want it to be. Let's see, let's just say we want to use that one. I would do this. Well, you can kind of put it where you want to. Let's say we even want to put it right here, where it's more visible. I always do this. Then you can, you can hit Control C and V to uh, copy and paste. That then the song is if I'm lying, I'm flying. Make it smaller so it fit. I'll try to line it up with the, the end of the E so it just look right. That's just how I like to do it. Take a look and come back over here to the project and uh, find the title and drag it over. And bam, there you go. IG promo video <clears throat> and as far as exporting it you go to file export media and I got like some settings that I already saved but I, I'll show you what they are you know it's, it's 64 640 um, frame rate field order aspect I always use render at maximum depth the encode settings software profile main level 3.1 um, for bitrate settings, this is the most important part. This is going to let you um, make sure it's the right size. Because, you know, you can only email a 25 megabit file. So, you know, I just try to keep it within that parameter. Right now, it's 5. You can see it's estimated at being uh, 19 megabits. You can go up a little bit, you know. It won't really make a big difference. So I'll go up to 6 just because, you know, it's 22. I export it. I speed this part up. Bam, there you go. Then you um, go to where where you have it exported. Bam. If you find this tutorial useful, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate y'all checking it out. See you next week.